Hello fellow Unreal Engine artists, designers and developers. Well, this video should have been out about four weeks ago, a day or two after the release of version two, but I have been struck down with a virus for the last few weeks. So I've been unable to do this video until now. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with a quick video. Uh, this is going to talk about the two major bug fixes in version two of the free uh, Simple Structures plugin, which you can get by clicking on the link below. And I'm also gonna talk about if you need to migrate to version 5.4 and you have uh, landscape deformers, then there's a quick uh, fix for a migration issue in that situation. So let's get straight into it. So the first bug fix is one I didn't notice for a long time and it's, it's so obvious when you see it. Uh, so let me show you the problem and show you the resolved version in uh, V2. So let me look at this mesh here. So I'm using the new mesh generator to generate a uh, window mesh with three windows in it. Um, this is just for an example. It doesn't uh, have to be this mesh to show you the issue. But if I move over to the left and look at a wall I've created with this mesh, you can see that wherever there's an angle corner, the mesh is really badly distorted. And as I said, I, I should have noticed this much earlier on. You can see the mesh in the middle is fine, it's uniform, but the mesh on the right-hand side is stretched out and distorted so that it's narrow right next to the angle corner um, and then stretched out on the left-hand side. And it's the opposite on the uh, left-hand corner. You can see it's narrower uh, near the uh, angle corner and then stretched out in the middle. So if um, I make this a curved structure, uh, there's no issue here. It was only with the angle corners. So um, it was a problem in the coding that I didn't take into account uh, the tangents at the corner properly. It was imagining that this was wrapping around the corner. So if you look at the version two tool, so if I move up here to the version two, it's all been sorted out. So any of your version one walls, buildings, any of the uh, spline structures have been resolved now. So you can see that I now get a nice uniform mesh on each side, even with the clamp corners. So I'm glad I've uh, solved that one because that was a really nasty cosmetic bug. The other bug that I fixed in version two is largely one of convenience. You can see in this footage here that with the landscape deformers, when you selected them, the handle was way off, either elevated or in the depths, especially in landscapes with high elevations or deep valleys. So I've now sorted this out so that the handle appears uh, close to the deformer so you can easily adapt it. And you can see in this landscape I've got here, I've got five landscape deformers here and if i select them so if i select this one here you can see the handle is just above it select this one if i go down into the depths here and select it same so it is now in a uniform place the handle and very close to the default uh, to the deformer so it's ni now nice and easy to uh, change those let me select this to change those deformations or move them around. So you can see that uh, that makes life a lot easier. If you're working with landscape deformers, you can now find the handle nearby and move it around or up and down. The last thing I wanna talk about today is a potential migration issue. If you're moving your project to version 5.4 or above and you are using the landscape deformers. So if those two conditions apply to you, you need to follow these steps. So you can see I'm in uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 here. I've created a landscape level and I've added a couple of landscape deformers with associated structures. It doesn't matter whether you've got associated structures or not for this issue. It's really just about the landscape deformers. So um, uh, I've created this and now I want to migrate it to version 5.4. Now I've opened up the same project in UE 5.4 and it looks a bit scary. 
the two walls are there, but the landscape deformers have disappeared. You can see that they're in the level. If I look in my outliner here, I've got the landscape deformers and you can see the selectors. It's just not deforming the landscape. Um, I'm not sure exactly why this is happening, but it just seems like the brush manager, which is responsible for rendering the height map, uh, isn't syncing with the landscape deformers when you open up the project. Uh, fortunately, there's a quick fix, which you only have to do once. So if you've got any levels with landscape deformers in, then go into your landscape mode. Go to uh, the sculpt section and blueprints. And in the blueprint brush, just uh, select the custom brush landmass at the top. Click somewhere in the landscape uh, and then just adjust the handle slightly. doesn't matter just a little bit and you'll create this um, three-sided pyramid but you can see as soon as it created this uh, custom brush here everything else came back into view so now you can hit the delete key to delete that custom brush yes that's fine and now everything is back to normal so you can just save that landscape and everything is back to how it should be if I reload this level now so go to reload it you'll see that the landscape deformers are all working fine now. So you only have to do this once when you've done the migration and everything is back to normal. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain, but uh, it's a very quick fix and then you'll never have to do it again. That's it for today's short video. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new mesh generators in version 2. So you can generate components for your walls, doors, windows and pillars. Uh, prior to then adding your spline structures. So stay subscribed and I will show you that in the next video. See you then. Bye for now.